This afternoon, I'm going to attempt to make a bait. Cut out a few patterns on a scroll saw. And uh, I'm gonna start with the worst one. See if we can make something that uh, a fish will bite. sort of worked. And it's starting to get a shape. Not sure if it's the shape I, <laughs> that we want or need. But we'll keep working on it. I'm gonna try to do a little carving. Here we are so far. Pretty simple. Pretty ugly. This is the progress so far. It's smooth. It's starting to kind of look like a lure of some sort. Go in to very unscientifically add some weight to this thing. Right in the dead center. Maybe I should do this. Probably a little safer. So far, put some hook hangers, really ugly hook hangers, and glued a split shot weight inside the bait. So this is where we are. Not too pretty, but we're up to here. Sort of the shape of a bait. Put some hook hangers on it, put a weight in the center of it, I, I don't think it's heavy enough, but this is the first time, just a little experiment, and we're learning as we're going. So I have, I just have some polyurethane handy, and I'm gonna dip it down in there.
And that is going to clear coat it before we attempt to paint it. I'm going to let it drip and then I'll let it dry. Okay, so here's our bait sealed, pretty plain and boring looking. And this is the paint we're going to use. I went and looked at some airbrush kits and they were super expensive. So that's going to have to be for another day. All right, so the cans of spray paint. Uh, it's looking a little rough. So this side is totally ugly. This side over here mm, is decent. We are gonna dip this thing one more time and uh, the next thing we'll do is put some hooks on it and try it out. All right, here it is with the hooks. I don't think it's gonna run that well in the water, but we're gonna throw it in and see if we can catch us some bass in this pond. You want? Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Just lost a big one. So, what I've learned is I needed more weight on the bait. So I've shaved off some more wood, sort of reshaped it, added weight into the belly, and I'm gonna restain it, repaint it, and try again, see if I can get a nice wobble action. Because the way it was, it just, it wobbled, it, it laid over on its side. It, it did get one bite, you know, I caught one fish on it that I lost at the bank but it definitely wasn't due to its uh, swimming action. It uh, definitely need to be reshaped and, and weight added. So I'm gonna paint this and try it again. Well, I got one interested fish. Uh, I guess it works. All right, this is version point two or 2.0. You can see it has a new shape. I put more weight in the belly to make it dive. It had a wobble, but it had kind of a wide wobble. But it was successful, caught two bass, and it sure was fun catching fish on a crankbait that I made in the garage. But here it is.